it does take the mind of a businessman, I would say, in a way, to achieve the things you want to achieve as an independent artist, mm-hmm. even though the term is an artist. You need to think of it like, think of yourself like a company. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the vlog. Today is a very special episode featuring Ignatius, a DJ and producer who is currently residing in Sweden. Ignatius has an endless amount of knowledge because he's not only an independent artist, but he's also worked with an independent record label and we talk about that in this interview as well. He also won an award in 2016 for best local DJ when he was living in Hong Kong and he's also had multiple releases through record companies as well. As you can imagine, we had a lot of things we had to talk about and I had a lot of questions I wanted to ask him. So this is only the first half of the interview. Stay tuned because the next half will be coming out next week. Anyway, that's enough from me. Let's get to the interview. Yo, 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 what's up, man? How you going, Ignatius? Good, man. How are you doing, bro? Good, man. Good, good. It's a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you for your time and thank you for doing this. It's, it's, gonna, it's already going to be a good video. I can, just, I can just feel it. Yeah, absolutely. I'm definitely excited to talk to you. Yeah, awesome. All right. Well, again, won't waste any time with these interviews. I like to get straight into them. So the first question is, uh, since, you know, you're, you're an independent uh, artist yourself, what is a piece of advice that you, you can give to other independent artists uh, that are just starting out? Hmm. I mean, for me, that's something I'm still working on now, but I wish I knew about this earlier is getting organized as quickly as you can, like mm-hmm. start organizing your files, organize your, your, like what your goals are for the year, organize your projects, organize, like how are you going to, if you're trying to make money off it, then you need to or figure out how you're going to do that. So mm-hmm. I feel like that if I had started that a little bit earlier, I might've been better at it now. So I would definitely say get organized as soon as you can because music is very fun and it's very fun to be an independent artist no one is telling you what to do so then it's very easy to fall into this like i want to keep having fun and organization can be at least at least for me it's quite not the most fun thing to do so i would say like get organized as early on as you can and try to put in a system in place as early on as you can that works for you you're right because it does it can get very complicated like very fast like it always does as you said that's off with you're just having fun you're just like making music or whatever whatever your art is you're just making it and then you got to think oh. about like oh shit now i've got like all these files everywhere and then maybe you yeah. know, decided to like collaborate with someone that you've now forgotten about because you just made like 10 other songs and had yeah. to do with that collab or whatever you and i you and i have done this 10 times a year I'm yeah sure. yeah yeah exactly, exactly. No, so, yeah, absolutely. so so you so how do you how do you think that that hindered you not doing that then you know as, as you said well you can't achieve like it does take the mind of a businessman i would say in a way to achieve the things you want to achieve as an independent artist Mm -hmm. even though the term is an artist you need to think of it like think of yourself like a company which is you're the ceo you're but you're also like the doorman you're also the cleaner you have to do everything for yourself but so if you don't put it into a process just like a real company doesn't function without processes you also cannot function at least you cannot function successfully, I would say. I know there's a lot of people that work really well in chaos. And, you know, I think then luck kind of comes into play. And mm-hmm. you really have to be extremely talented to get over your, your hump of, like, not being organized as everybody else. Mm-hmm. So if you can just do that and be really, really talented, then, you know, you're already ahead of the curve. So I think it's just if you have that system in place early on and then, you know, within a year, maybe you could become muscle memory. So you won't even have to think about it anymore by the time your music catches up to your organization. Mm-hmm. Cause obviously in the first few years it's never going to be good. And, you know, you're going to think it's amazing. And then it sounds like shit the next day, as we all know. So it's good that you have some system in place that works for you. That can make you like, keep you feeling successful until the music catches up or your skill or talent catches up. Yeah, so I think that's yeah. why it's I, quite important. I, I don't think I could have said it better myself. That was, yeah, that was perfectly said. Um, yeah, I, I really like the the whole business analogy. Yeah. That was, that was I mean, but again, I'm not very, I'm, I'm still working on it. You know, <laughs> this yeah, is why. Yeah. I, I mean, I like you, advice. you know me, yeah. you know, like how organized I am, <laughs> right? But yeah. even then, like I still feel unorganized at times. Like it's something that I still have just to like, a lot. Yeah. move on um yeah. and yeah just the whole being able to function in the chaos i can do that but only for so long. yeah after a week or two it comes very naturally like, doesn't oh. it feel like for artists yeah 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 
yeah then, I, f- I feel like it's a lot of us are like that it's just yeah. it's the chaos that comes the like the you know the art comes out of i feel like yeah so it feels like that's the right way but then it's not the right the rest of the world doesn't work that way and it's so definitely like, it's definitely it. a lot less stressful when when you yeah when you organize that's for sure all right awesome you definitely yeah. answered that question so i'll move on Great. to the next one um cool what what made you pursue your passion in music like what was the thing that made you want to do this um so i never really thought i would be i would do music like ever i even like there's this like story i tell people about how my ex who was really into her art since she was six years old i used to tell her that you know you shouldn't do this because you're not going to make any money off it like a very asian i mean it it's you know it's really mean now but it's it's a very asian mentality as well and so i had that as well and i was just a club promoter and it was just a way to make money it wasn't really like oh i want to do this for like the, the the scene or anything like that and then i just saw some guys dj and I was like, oh, I want to appreciate them more. So let me just try to see, like, learn a little bit about it. Mm-hmm. And then I was just doing, I was just doing it. And then I was like, oh, I could do this too, what they're doing. And yeah. then I just kept doing it. And it just kind of kept happening. And it was literally just a way to make money in the beginning. It was like, oh, I can make quite a lot of money doing something fun. Like, this yeah. is good. And then you were like, just, oh, damn, I really like this shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was really like that. Like, it, it wasn't ever a goal to become this. Mm. It just kind of happened naturally which i mean you know i feel that those people who know what they that they want to do this from a young age are actually really lucky because mm-hmm. then you I, you don't have this like feeling of oh i don't know what i'm doing but yeah. i also find that this was a little bit easier because it, i never knew what i wasn't getting to there was no like goal it was just about having fun yeah no and it was just about <clears throat> yeah so like when you know when I, like when i went you it was like i was doing a gig that was really fun for the night but as a whole that is not a very fun gig but it was paying me money and i was like well I could do a job in an office or I could do this and make the same amount of money or maybe even a little bit more. Absolutely. So it was just going to whatever was more fun really. And this just kept being fun. So that's how I, it was never like a goal of me to do this. Yeah. Honestly, I think as long as like, as long as your, your, if your goal is always to just have fun, then you're winning, Mm. right? Like that's, it definitely makes it a lot less stressful. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, you can ask yourself like, did I have fun doing it? And if the answer is yes, then fuck it, right? Like yeah. fuck it. nothing else really. I mean, as I've, as I've gotten older, I will say that word fun has changed to happy because, mm-hmm. you know, fun can be a lot of things. <laughs> we had a lot of fun, yeah. but um, I, I have changed that word now to happy because I feel like that's a little bit healthier. Yeah, like just, 100%, 100%. Because, you know, we can have a lot of fun that's not, that maybe doesn't make you the happiest the next day. <laughs> yeah, it's not, <laughs> but it's not very, <laughs> it's, it's boring yeah. happiness. <laughs> yeah. So, I kind of had to change that vocabulary as I got a little mm-hmm. bit older. So I've changed that now to just do whatever makes you happy. And then it doesn't matter what you're doing as long as yeah. you get well, I mean, that goal. That honestly sounds like it was like meant to happen. Though. That sounds like fate. You yeah. have this club promoted job. You still <laughs> be DJing and you just like. Yeah, dude. I used to be tone deaf before. Yeah. Like, so I was still tone deaf three years into DJing. And yeah. I only know I'm not tone deaf now is because I'm not tone deaf. <laughs> <laughs> it's really weird it's it's super weird to me but like in school like i didn't hear any differences in tones i couldn't tell when people were singing bad or good like i had no idea I, now i can actually you hear it. music you can yeah yeah it's just it's pretty it's pretty oh amazing. man i think i think everyone relates to to like once you start making music like just yeah. all music you hear sounds completely different like you yeah you never, you never hear music again yeah. you know, once you start making <laughs> yeah. it yourself and you start learning more about it everything yeah. all, all the sounds sound so different next question so yeah. kanye west recently mentioned that in, in the music industry apparently you know according to him i haven't fact checked him or anything yeah. that artists <laughs> only make about 12 percent um of of the total uh revenue or profit yeah. or, or whatever he said right you know nonetheless 12 yeah. percent is fairly low considering the industry, you know, theoretically wouldn't exist without them. Yep. Um, so what what do you think streaming platforms in particular, since, you know, since that is the main way that people uh, ingest music nowadays, what do you think uh, streaming platforms can do to, to fix this issue? Um, I have very strong thoughts about this. I live in Stockholm now, which is the birthplace of streaming services. Ah, yeah. Yes, oh. that's right, And um, But I haven't had Spotify for like a year and a half myself. 
Mm-hmm. I don't use it because my consumption of music was just I wasn't happy with it on Spotify. Mm-hmm. And um so I worked at a record label for a year in Hong Kong and um this was a big part of my job was looking at streaming data and trying to get our stuff basically as because we're an indie company mm-hmm. but we were still quite big and we had to figure out placements on Spotify. And I I mean look I don't think I don't know if the 12% is correct exactly right but it sounds right to me. Right. Because okay. of all, all the deals that are in place for these big labels, the big four like Universal, Sony, Warner and uh, there's one more I can't remember. Now, but it's No, but music wise, it's Warner, Sony, Universal and Bro, Disney also owns an ass load of music. Oh, may, maybe now they're like it's part of it. But anyway, they have all these deals with Spotify and all these streaming services mm-hmm. but, like that we don't know about that you would only know about if you worked in the industry and they do massively screw over indie artists like there is a system in place it's a bit long to go over now yeah. but there is a system in place that screws us over over um, established artists they have like a financial they have a financial gain basically from making Justin Bieber have more views than you they it's a literal financial gain for Spotify interesting interesting well maybe yeah. you know, that's well we can we can make a separate video talking about Yes yeah, so if we ever if yeah. we ever do that podcast episode I can tell you more about what this is because there's a bit of financial things mm-hmm. that go behind it and why it gains it but I honestly don't like I I think they could share like I don't think there's a need to keep the rich richer because we all know there's this happiness curve and you know with money it drops off really heavily after like a very it's I think it's like 2 million a year or something like this it's not a very high amount Mm-hmm. So why do we need to keep why don't we just divide it up like evenly yeah. right now it's kind of like leaning towards but you know we're a very capitalist um system, like world at the moment so I don't think that's ever going to happen so you would say However, to, stop, to stop offering incentives for these big artists for you yeah. know, to stay at the top for these platforms essentially yeah absolutely oh, like I mean provide I mean, <laughs> that's not an answer I would have guessed in a million years because this is something that oh. I wasn't aware of at all. Like that's that's really oh. interesting. That's really really interesting. Because like I mean, what are you gonna do if you're running Spotify and you're gonna make an extra hundred million if Justin Bieber makes another extra two hundred million? But obviously, you're not gonna get that if it's you making that. Like me as an independent artist. So what are you gonna yeah. do as a business, right? Yeah. So I feel whatever, like whatever's good for profits, right? Like that's yeah. you know really taking the the art or just like the humanity aspect of it into a cat. Yeah. You know, it's just, yeah. It's I mean, just, at the end of the day it's just like what's making us uh, the most profits. Okay, well, great. That was I I did just think of a solution though. I mm-hmm. think we need to go back to the BBC way, the way they do it in the UK where it's government run content. So it's not for profit. Mm-hmm. Like the BBC is not a commercial, it's a government entity. Oh, right. So it's, okay. it's 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 funded by the taxpayer. So they don't really need to care so much about what's popular as much as other like a commercial like TV station then don't you think that would just create a lot of censorship cuz like if the i mean like you know you you, I, you, you, sorry, you, you, so. you grew up you grew up in like hong kong right yeah <laughs> you know i think if that was the situation in hong kong that like i mean it's happening you know, it's happening right now they've censored everything in hong kong you're totally right yeah. i'm just saying like that is just a, like when i see bbc radio it's like channel 4 and things like this there's so many obscure shows that do get made on those yeah. and you know like maybe out of 100 mediocre ones you get one really really good one but at least you have the chance for that to happen yeah and i feel yeah. like yeah. right now like when the way you and me release music on spotify or any or any one of us does we have to really think about 30 seconds intro because no one's listening past that time so if you lose them like we have to think about all these things but if you weren't worried about that money you could actually take a lot more chances and a lot more risks Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. If you were like just you're getting paid, paid, you just were trying to like please the the algorithm god yeah. that was actually making content yeah. to make content, you know, and actually like, yeah. have fun, have a good time and make and you know, make shit sure that's good and enjoyable, you know. Yeah. You're right. Exactly. You're, you're definitely. Like you have, have to take risks. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I think I think like a lot of a lot of YouTubers have definitely said that over time that you know, like they've they've lost a little bit of touch with their creative side because they just got yeah. to making whatever got the most views rather than making um, the most like creative idea that you know yeah. they they think of um the, I guess the only youtuber now that stays like 100% true to this is like Mr Beast right now because like every video oh, is just like absolutely yeah. fucking wild he just like does literally whatever he wants and like a lot of the yeah. videos too like he loses money but like he does it because it's yeah. just like insane right like, just, like <laughs> I have the money to do it so like why not 
I can. Yeah. That's the way I can totally respect. Like if you yeah. do it just for the fu- like, that's the art that kind of like makes us talk about it, right? Yeah, like, that's exactly. always been. That's exactly. always been the case. So exactly. You know, like you I know, feel like it's maybe definitely, it's definitely like every like uh, artist dream to get to a level where they can do something that's never been done before, right? That's yeah. Every, mm-hmm. Obviously, every, like oh, not everyone's, but you know, a lot of people, a lot of people wish for that. Um, yeah. All right. Um, so we'll move on to the next question. Y'all can kiss that, but it's all too late. Don't take much to see all y'all fake. Was raised a good boy, but became a savage. Came in this world pure, now I understand it. Uh, came in this world pure, but now I understand it. Run the planet when we hunt the maggots, and we all gathered to help the masses. Indict the guilty, place them in caskets. Why you-